Hello Libras and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl the Moon Goddess. Alright, so in today's video we're just doing a quick read. Let's see what's going on with you Libra. Let's see what messages Spirit has for our Libras. Picking up the energy for our Libras. If you hear any noise in the background, I do have my fan on. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies, let's see. Okay. All right. So I feel like this reading with you right now. It's centered around you trying to gain maybe a new perspective in regards to something. Okay, I feel like you're trying to um, get out of a space of waiting. I'm feeling like you're just hanging in the air here, but I also feel like you're being very confident in regards to what it is that you're manifesting. I feel like it's like the waiting game here for you. Okay, I feel like there's some things that you are doing to bring about a situation but you're kind of waiting for it to happen i feel like you're manifesting something and you're just waiting for some things to happen here but i also feel like there is um an energy of some sneaky energy that's happening let's see let's see what's going on some things being brought out here in regards to whatever it is that you're manifesting. I feel like you're trying to find a balance here between manifesting, waiting, and maybe scheming. Some of you can be scheming on some things here. Trying as you're manifesting, I feel like you're also, you know, trying to work the system <laughs> here. Okay. But I also feel like there is a positivity that you're keeping. Okay, I feel like there's some things that's becoming clear in regards to how you go about doing these things or how you make things work for you. Okay, I feel like you're trying, I feel like you're trying to work around some things here. You're trying to work around these manifestations. I feel like you're trying to speed them up, but you're, you might be doing some things that aren't really in alignment with, with the honesty of it all. Okay. Let me just say that. Okay. But I feel like this could be you or this could be someone in your energy. I feel like someone's not being honest about a situation here. Someone's not being straightforward. Someone's being a little schemy and a little sneaky here. But there's some things that's going to be coming out in regards to this. And I feel like you're going to have to figure out the best way to navigate how to make this whole situation work. How to take these negative situations and make it work for the positive here i feel like you're just you're being very optimistic about this i don't feel like this seven of swords is you i feel like this is someone in your energy if it is you then you know take it as it resonates but for a good majority of you i feel like this is someone in your energy i feel like you're trying to do some things to call in some things for you and i feel like somebody may be trying to block that Somebody's maybe trying to block that here. And I feel like it's somebody who you feel like you're supposed to be working together with. And some things who you're supposed somebody who is supposed to be helping you with some things. I feel like you're gonna ultimately find this out about this person if you don't know it already. Or this could just be confirmation, me saying it. But I do feel like somebody is here and they're trying to um there's like a deceitful energy here. Somebody may be trying to block what it is. They're trying to block your blessings. Or somebody may be trying to for some people, somebody may be trying to do some things here to keep you stuck. Hmm. 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 Libra. Some people may be, somebody may be trying to do some things. This seven of swords is giving me some real, some real sinister type of vibes here. Okay. I feel like somebody is definitely trying to keep you stuck in a situation, trying to keep you stuck in limbo. You're trying to do some things to clear some air or maybe trying to do some things to to 
clear some negativity from your life and i feel like somebody just keeps on coming in and just dropping negativity on you somebody can also be doing this energetically as well so i would be very careful who you let around you who you let touching you who you let in your space and your energy who you let maybe know some of your information here some people who who you may feel like you're supposed to confide in or some people who you may feel like you're supposed to talk to about some situations i would be very careful with certain people and especially i feel like for some of you you may know this if it hasn't happened already because we got the sun card here okay so i feel like there has been some clarity okay i feel like some things are finally coming into they're coming out into the sun here whatever's done in the dark is coming out into the light here so i just feel like you know just be very mindful of this but I, I do feel like you're kind of keeping your step here when it comes down to this temperance card i feel like you've been patient and you've been you know trying to keep your foot in trying to keep your ground here with this situation and you've been doing that but i feel like the more that you're doing that for some of you you may be getting a little bit frustrated in a way because now you have to figure out a bit another way to go about a situation now you got to figure out another way to go about this i think that's where this hangman is coming from too it's where this new perspective i feel like you got to try to see a different way of going about making these things happen without having somebody jeopardizing those doors from opening for you somebody could be just trying to just throw darts at you or just like energetically like i said energetically intentionally okay this is not unintentional this person knows what they're doing this person knows exactly what they're doing here but i feel like you are definitely going to end up being very independent here you're going to be very strong here you're going to be very um strong-minded here when it comes down to this situation all right you're going to also be in a space where you're just putting yourself out there all right but like I said, just be very careful about the energy that you share with people and certain things that you share with other people, okay? Because I feel like this Queen of Wands can be kind of um, a little too expressive sometimes, okay? So just be mindful because some people may act like that they're there and they're listening and they're here to help and trying to help and try to pull you up and try to help you out and all this other extra stuff. But if anything, the more information you're giving them, the more they have against you, the more they can use it against you. All right. But I also feel like, you know, you're going to be in a space where you are going to be guarded and guided here okay you're gonna be guarded and guided all right libra let's see let's get an oracle card for you let's see what's going on here intuition Yep, trust in your intuition. Paying attention to your intuition and going with the flow here. Okay, let's get the guidance for intuition for you. The guidance says, you already know. Take a deep breath and surrender to what you know to be true and trust your inner wisdom and guidance. Is what I say, you're going to be guarded and guided. Okay. What is your guidance telling you? Put your hands over your third eye and ask, if I knew what the answer is, what would it be? Then follow your first instinct. The creator and your ancestors connect with you through your intuition. So trust your internal GPS. The nudges, signs, and coincidences are divine guidance. Slow down, go for a walking meditation, be present with nature, and pay attention. Being present allows you to feel, hear, see, and sense your guidance, Libra. Okay, so, you know... This is also, the hangman is also being in a space where you're trusting, okay? You're trusting God and you're trusting, you know, the universe, the creator, whoever it is that, you know, you find the higher power to be, okay? But it's also being in a space where, you know, you're, you're kind of letting go here. 
you're kind of letting go and kind of being in a place of surrender because you kind of have no choice but to. You see how this person is just hanging there. Their, their arms are tied, their, their, their feet are tied some sort of way. It's just like you have no choice but to surrender here and see things differently or let these things be shown to you the way that they're supposed to be shown to you. And the sun is here, so you're definitely going to be in a space where things are gonna be coming out, you're gonna be seeing things, and you're also going to be seen as well. People are going to be seeing you with this Queen of Wands energy as well. Okay, so keep on manifesting. Pay attention to who you have around you and the energy that you have around you as well, okay? And this could also be somebody's, I don't know, somebody's mother of their child or father of their child, like I feel like that energy here because we have the queen with the intuition and it's a mother with a child. And then we have the sun card here and it's like a baby on a horse like somebody i feel like just watch your what just watch whoever you have around you okay because somebody's not happy to see you trying to pull yourself up out of a situation and trying to manifest okay somebody's not happy seeing you putting in all of the energy that you're putting into into you and becoming a better person or trying to pull yourself up out of something somebody's not happy about that all right, Libra, so I hope this resonated. If it did, go ahead and leave a like on this video and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.